for award-winning American composer, Augusta Reed Thomas. This is the sound of the earth. I've always been attracted to bell-like sounds. The title, Resounding Earth, Resounding Earth, on the one hand, we're talking about resounding earth, this earth that is full of metals, that all of mankind has turned into instruments, and we're gonna play them from all around the world together on one stage. Thomas says her composition is like a United Nations of resonances. Yeah, these are Indian Noah bells, or kadki. On a recent Sunday, the members of Third Coast Percussion were setting up the instruments to rehearse Resounding Earth. The Chicago-based quartet was invited to perform the piece at the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Peter Martin is one of the musicians. We have bells that come from India. We have gongs that come from Thailand. Uh, we have uh, other bells that come from all over uh, the European continent. Um, literally every continent, I believe, is represented in the instrumentation. Some are locally found objects. It is a spring coil from heavy machinery. It makes a beautiful sound. It's not, not built to be a musical instrument, but it makes a beautiful sound. Altogether, Resounding Earth incorporates over 350 metal objects ranging from tiny cluster bells to huge Chinese gongs. Thomas developed the piece in close collaboration with the Third Coast percussionists. It was very challenging, yeah, just being able to, to figure out the distinct sound qualities of each one of the instruments and then to be able to play them in a way that sort of balanced them across each other. And that was both a difficulty for ourselves as performers, but, but also for the composer herself, who was trying to craft a piece. Martin says the 35-minute opus was many years in the making, and every move of the players was carefully choreographed. The work has four movements. One is scored exclusively for 26 Japanese rins, or singing bowls, creating a meditative sound. 18 Burmese spinning bells traditionally played by monks, are a central component of another section. But it's also re-sounding earth, you know, to take what's in the earth and re-sound it. And in that sense, it's really giving it back to the earth, giving it back to the people. It's, it's been a very beautiful journey. The composer and the players say they would love to take the music to all the places where the bells were made and share their resonance with people around the world. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.